Let's talk about sex. Specifically, the four basic methods insects use to reproduce. Direct sperm transfer involves, as the name implies, sexual internal transfer of sperm through physical contact of genitalia. Indirect sperm transfer involves a packet of sperm, called a spermatophore, being outwardly transferred from the male's body to the female's. External sperm transfer is where a male leaves spermatophores as bait for a female to find and use to fertilize herself. Parthenogenesis involves asexual reproduction in which the offspring produced are genetic clones of their mothers. Let's go through and talk about some interesting mating habits of specific insect orders. The order Columbula includes small soil dwellers like spring tails. Crikey! This male right here is distributing his spermatophores, his packets of sperm. Will a female come along and pick one up? Oh no, looks like he has to consume his old sperm packets. A strategy he may use is to look for a female. Once he finds one, he will surround her with his spermatophores. The female may reject the move and use her furcula to spring out of the circle and avoid impregnation. Or she may crawl over a sperm packet and become fertilized. A particularly rambunctious male might even go so far as to grab a female by her Circe and drag her across his spermatophore, forcing her to carry on his genes. The older Physonora includes small wingless silverfish. The male Physonora will dangle his spermatophore on a string, enticing the female to come accept his gift of procreation. She looks around, grabs the string, and hops away. Oh yeah! The order, Odonata, contains dragonflies and damselflies. A male will grasp a female by the neck, bring her to a suitable mating space, and they will copulate via indirect sperm transfer. I'm bringing sexy Oi, mate! The praying mantis in the order Mantidea seduces females through a courtship dance. Look at that. If his moves are up to par, the female may choose to mate with him through direct sperm transfer. If resources are scarce, the female may eat the male after copulation. Look at that, would you? Wow! Tearing him apart! Oh me, oh my! I see a walking stick bug from the order Phasmatodea swaying by a tree. Although they sometimes reproduce sexually, the female may opt to undergo parthogenesis in which she reproduces clones of herself. This is asexual. You go, girl. Earwigs, also known as insects in the order Dermatra, use sex pheromones to attract one another. As you see, the male is trying to attract the female. The male offers the female food, and if she accepts, oh, will she? She will hang upside down during copulation and eat the offering. Crikey! Would you look at that? I've spotted a honeybee queen from the order Hymenoptera. Because bees are eusocial insects, they have a reproductive division of labor. So, 
This one female of the hive, known as the Queen Bee, will spend the rest of her life in this very chamber, giving birth to all of the colony's offspring, while the infertile worker bees help deliver and raise her young. Wow, that looks painful. What did you get when you asked me to meet in the end underneath the tree? Ask the people who can worm along and what you get is the bug song. Mating habits among insects are diverse and exciting. We hope you enjoyed Insects in Sex! <laughs> you got it! Opinion is more of a oh, moot point, if you will. I'm also really great at making blooper reels.